<laughs> and we're back um, back underway here at Stadium of Light. It's Sunderland nil, Southampton nil. Uh, the pressure from Southampton, sorry, Sunderland, which is offside against Danny Graham. To relegate, uh, have to relegate Wigan now. Here's Sunderland again. Free kick against Rodriguez. Here's Southampton back on the ball. And the right hand side, Snidling Wick cuts in. Cork picks it up and now Davis lays it out on this left hand side and Luke Shaw runs forward. Runs at his man, goes into the penalty area, Luke Shaw cuts it back into the penalty area. Caught by Mignolet. Good positive start from Southampton. Good positive start again on this left hand side from Shaw. Sunderland Southampton again. Back on the ball, send it down the left hand side. It's going to overrun now and out for the goal kick to Sunderland. It's been the moral of the game so far, and either side really create anything a great deal. and really turn it into this type of game where no team can find particularly any momentum to shift in the game in their favour. And free kick to Southampton against Wickham who has come on so there's a half time substitute Connor Wickham on uh, Aaron McLean James McLean off no substitutes from Sunderland no I mean Southampton kicked off now in Old Trafford Manchester United versus Swansea Throwing on this near side taken by Klein. That's back with Font. Snyderlin. Well, he has to go back to his keeper. It's been a terrible game so far. I think I've picked the wrong game to be honest. It's bored the shit out of me. Sunderland picked the ball up again and once again the moral of the game is nothing doing Sunderland on attacking Southampton trying to attack but not doing very good at it and it's turning into a type of game with little chances and five minutes gone in the second half shows new indication that there are going to be any more major chances in this game 
Hard to tell that both these sides are so close to the relegation zone because no one of them is in any desperate need to score a goal. And most of cancelling it out in each other out in the fact that they're both doing bugger all. Corner whipped in now. And this bit of chance, it's headed to good save from Mignolet. It's cleared away. And that's a good save from Simon Mignolet again from a corner pick, kick, corner kick. Again, having to make a save to put it back into the penalty area. It's going to be shielded out for a goal kick. And a goal kick, Sunderland. Here comes Southampton after an attack from Sunderland. Game opening up a little bit again now. Did for a brief period in the first half. Hey then. Cut inside. Here's a shooting opportunity taken away off his toes. Lamb, it's Rodriguez on the ball. His ambitious effort is blocked and out for a corner kick. Lambert, ambitious effort. He's been given a goal kick. Which is stupid because it clearly took a touch off the Sunderland player. Wasn't a corner given, which is surprising because took a touch of a Sunderland player, so I thought I'd initiate the corner. Apparently not. Here they come again, Southampton. Passed into Lambert, who is clearly offside, he had to leave it and cleared away for a throw in on this near side to Sunderland. Here come a free kick now for Southampton. Connor Wickham, the half time substitute, committing a foul. There, yeah, foul on Lalana. Chance for a cross on this right hand side. Davis is the man standing over it. The only man standing over. He's going to take it. He's going to whip it into the near post so it's easily cleared. And out for a throw in. Klein crosses it in. Knocked down. Sniding couldn't quite get onto that. And now a break on for South for Sunderland. Other result matches. Still the same scores as things stand. Sunderland never really had chances so far. Southampton possession, but not had some chances, but most of the chances not coming from open play, coming from set pieces, the two best chances. Uh, Southampton in a moment move five points clear relegation. I'm sure they would rather get the win, but 
Not playing with that kind of urgency just yet, but Sunderland very much behind the ball. Throwing cleared, but it's just picked up again by Southampton. Cleared again, no. Sunderland find it pretty easy in defence, not finding it so easy to keep the ball though. Not really looking like they're going to concede at the moment. Sunderland don't look over like they're going to score up. Davis. Nice flick on there. Klein can't quite get onto the ball. Cleared again back to Southampton. Southampton just constantly getting back onto the ball, but now it's Sunderland and. That's a ball over now. Wickham. Connor Wickham on the ball. Holds it up nicely. He's just outnumbered in the end and. Sunderland able to deal with it and get it out of their own defence and now a set up a counter attack. Here it is then, coming forward on his right hand side, Ricky Lambert. Oh, and he tries to once to feed it into Lalana down the right. Lalana went inside and South Sunderland back in possession. Ball four and it's dealt, dealt with again by Quay on. It's another corner kick to Southampton. This is where they have been most dangerous. And this is probably the only place they're going to get a goal this afternoon. Probably the only place any team's going to get a goal because open play just hasn't worked for either side. Davis with a corner. It's high. It's knocked away. Trying to control it, Rodriguez or Cork has a shot, got caught while well, having a shot, don't know, that's not a free kick, he's got caught clearly on the top of the foot. And nothing has been given. How that isn't a free kick I'll never know but, in fact it has been given, it's a corner. Davis again with a corner. Headed, saved by Mignolet. It's easier that time. He's at a better height for him and he was able to catch it. Once again, a Southampton player getting free in the penalty area to get a header. Here come the three forwards again. Lalana then just keeps it in on his right side. Waits for support. Davis is a supporting man. He waits for Klein to overlap. Klein now, Lalana again, Lalana turns nicely, still on the ball Lalana, into Davis, now tries to find Klein, doesn't quite reach the right back, now it's switched on to the left and Rodriguez, he's got Cork overlapping him, crosses into the box and over the top of everyone, and out for a goal kick. It remains Sunderland nil, Southampton nil. Here's Colback on the left side. Colback's cross is blocked and that's going to go behind for a corner Sunderland. And this should be the best opportunity to get a goal from set pieces. Players coming forward then for Sunderland. Here comes the corner. Larson whips it in, caught by Boric. And here it is, Sunderland nil, Southampton nil, but there are changes elsewhere. And there's a second goal at Goodison Park, and it's 
Everton 2, West Ham United 0. A second goal for Kevin Morales to give Everton a two goal lead in David Moyes' final home game. So Everton 2, West Ham United 0. Here then, still nil nil. Throw into Sunderland left side in Southampton's um, Southampton's half. Here's a ball now down to Danny Rose. Danny Rose is going to keep this in. His cross is high, and he actually went out of behind for a goal kick for curling back in. Here on his no side, Cole back for Sundland. He gets it back now. Ndaye on the ball. He's going to play that one in his right. Coming forward is Bardsley, and he puts the cross in, and it goes across the face of goal. All the way out for a throw in on this near side. So, no goals here, but changes again elsewhere. And to Carrow Road, and it's Norwich City 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. A goal from Grant Holt gives Norwich a two-goal lead and will take them a nice six points clear of relegation. And that will surely take now Norwich safe for this season and stop the last weekend jitters where they can finally relax and the goals keep going in and now to Craven Cottage where changing